I want to share something with you that is one of the uh, best, I think, one of the best tools that I have learned uh, to fight the insecurity of needing to be needed. Uh, the reality is people really can figure out their own problems. Uh, you would be shocked at how resourceful a person can be. So when people want to dump their monkey on you, you just say, I'm sure you'll figure it out. People bring stuff to you, hey, here's a problem here. Because this is what they're doing. They're trying to engage you to fix their problem for them so they don't have to apply the mental energy to figure it out. So your answer should be, when they go through the whole story and they tell you, this is what I'm dealing with, your answer should be, oh, okay. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And keep it moving. Otherwise, your monkey or their monkey now becomes your monkey. Have you ever found yourself working on problems that are not even yours? And you're like, wait a minute, why am I doing this? Because they dropped their monkey and left. And you took it, picked it up, and now you're running with it. Many suffer from the disease to please. The higher you climb, the less you will be liked. And you need to understand, presidents win elections by small margins. They'll win an election by, you know, 51%, 53%. You know what that tells you? 47% of the people in the world don't like them. That's almost half. So you better learn that I don't care what side of the fence you're on. Most people are not going to like you. And it doesn't matter. And it's worse than the body of Christ. It's a shame it should be the other way around, but it's not. So you have to learn that you are not needing to be liked. If you need to be needed and need to be liked, you're going to have a serious problem. Obama won by 7%. Trump had won by 4%, which is the difference of approval and versus disapproval. These are small margins. And so because they're small margins, you better understand, it just, you got to get delivered from what people think and what people feel. Fame must have enemies like light has gnats. Victor Hugo. You have to see haters as the result of doing something great. When you have haters, that's the result of you doing something great. Everyone ought to love me all the time syndrome. <clears throat> Here it is. Evolutionary psychology of being left out of the tribe. Uh, people naturally want to be a part of the tribe. It's, it's something that's been ingrained in us. And so a lot of times we don't know that that triggers us all throughout our lives to want to be a part of the in tribe. We want to be a part of something big. And so... There's the 1040 uh, 65 journey. And here's the 1040 65 journey. 10 year olds accept who said what. In other words, they just are constantly concerned with who says what, what did they say about me, and all those types of things. When you hit about 40, you stop caring what people say. You just don't even care anymore when you hit 40. I don't care what they said, it doesn't even matter to me. When you hit 65, you realize that no one really thinks about you. And so let's just jump to the end of this thing and realize nobody really thinks that much about you. They're on, they're on to the next thing. People post stuff on Facebook and they're throwing shade and you're like, well, they talking about me? Probably not. But you assume, well, they might, but they talking about me. And you have no idea what they're talking about because the truth of the matter is if they don't have enough gumption to be direct about it, then that's their problem, not yours. Y'all hear me? Good. The key to fighting overwhelm is having a plan. It mitigates the first response of fear. And so the myth of multitasking. Research study conducted by uh, Rubenstein, Evans, and Meyer had proven that multitasking reduced your productivity by 40%. People lost significant time because they're trying to switch from one thing uh, to the next. <clears throat> time lost increased as complexity increased. <coughs> by that, I mean this. The more serious the task is, the more time it takes to recover if you're multitasking. It's because of role activation. Role activation is changing the role and rules cognitively from an old task to a new one takes a certain amount of time. You're like putting on a different hat. And so a lot of people are in a rocking chair. They're moving, but they're not going anywhere. And so they're productive in their minds because they're active. But the truth of the matter is, nothing's getting accomplished. 